Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naya, and today I'm going to show you guys how I ship out my rugs. Now, before we get into this video, um, as usual, I just want to say my thanks to all you guys. Um, I'm currently at like 860 right now subscribers, which is awesome. I'll probably be about at close to a thousand or at a thousand um, by the time I post this video. But I just want to say I really, really appreciate you guys showing me so much support and just leaving awesome comments you guys are like the best like i really appreciate you guys so i just want to say that <laughs> and to further show my appreciation i do want to have a giveaway type thing um uh, of course a rug obviously i would want to give a rug to you guys but i'm not sure if i want to do it like a custom rug like make something up or like something that uh, i pick a winner and then it's something that you specifically might want i don't really know um but i'm trying to figure that out um that's probably going to be coming soon in the next video um probably not this one i'm probably going to do a different commission and um flesh out the idea a little bit more so stay tuned for the next one but um that's just something i want to give you back to you guys so uh yeah i think that's all i have to say for the uh, my announcements let's just get into the video <laughs> so what you're going to need to ship out your rugs there's some shipping wrap, obviously some big enough boxes to put your rugs in, uh, a printer, a scale so that you can weigh your package, and bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is kind of optional. I've seen people ship their rugs, they just wrap it up in the bubble wrap and that's it. I'm not that bold so I'm, I like to like triple make sure that everything is like wrapped and secured so that nothing gets damaged on the way too whoever I'm sending it to because that would definitely suck that would be hard work and uh, money wasted down the drain so you want to make sure that whatever you're shipping something that is uh, nice and secure wrap them type all that good stuff so as an example I'm just going to show you one of the commissions that I have worked on in the past so what you're going to do first is start by rolling your rug up nice and tight but when you are rolling it make sure that the design is facing outwards that way when the customer gets it and they unravel it the edges won't be like all frayed upwards and kind of reminds you of fry bologna so don't do that then you're going to get your shipping wrap and wrap it around that as well nice and tight on all sides to make sure that it's safe just in case the box might fail and i get damaged or wet you still have that layer of saran wrap to protect it So when I first started doing this, I would write handwritten notes like to show my thanks and I would tape it on the side of the um, rug. But now that I do have my thank you cards, I like those a little bit more. So I just, uh, I'll probably write the client's name on them and then stick it on the uh, side of that as well. Same thing, just it's not handwritten this time. Now, as far as boxes, um, I mean, I, for some reason, I have a lot of boxes in my position anyway that sometimes fit the, uh, the size of whatever rug I'm shipping. So if I have those, I'll just reuse those. I don't really like to waste stuff. Other than that, I'll um, either buy boxes from Uline. I think that the 40 by 6 by 6, I put a picture up on the side here. Um, and those, I usually get like 10 of those at a time. And I mean, they've all fit my rug so far. So yeah. All right. And then once you got everything taped up nice and tight, everything's good, you're going to want to get your, you can either take it to the post office or whoever you're shipping it through and they can weigh it for you and give you a, a price there or you can do it at home and get your shipping label at home. I have my own scale that I use, well actually it's my mom, but she lets me use it. <laughs> and it tells you the the weight like, in like pounds and like ounces and you have to write that in when you're uh, making your shipping label and then boom you're done and then it gives you an estimate on how much it's going to cost to ship that rug and yeah <laughs> all right and then i think that's it as far as that prep goes and then after that you're just going to take it to whoever you're uh, shipping it through ups usps fedex whoever and they'll take it for you they'll give you a receipt the tracking number and then in turn i give that uh, track uh, not tracking number I keep saying tracking number that tracking number to the client that way they can keep up with it we can both keep up with it just in case anything might happen and then yeah I just I still keep 
in contact with my client until I know for sure that they got the rug. Like, they might send me a picture or something or they, you know, however it goes. I just want to know for sure that they got it because I would feel terrible if they didn't. Like, how did that happen? And, uh, yeah, that's how I ship my raw rugs. I hope I made sense and that it was easy for you guys to understand me. Um, you know, I'm always open to questions in my DMs or in the comments. I love talking to you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, and, yeah, nothing too long, nothing too complicated. Uh, yeah, and do let me know about the giveaway. Um, I will have the rules and stuff in the next video um, and everything like that. So, yeah. Let me know your ideas. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys have a great day. And do something cool today. Do Make some cool art. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>